You know, playing all of these games and uh, getting better at it, in the couple of games that I've played in the past, none of which I kept because they're, they're, they're kind of shitty, you know? I, I've noticed that uh, I, I seem to be remembering something that I've uh, I've known for a long time, and I'm just starting to remember right now. That's that even though I'm in diamond, I still drink water right at the beginning of my recordings, and also that that probes, drones, skivers, pylons, depots, and overlords wins you games. I feel like I've been not not winning my games because I haven't been been uh, at those very basic mechanics and also on top of my upgrades. So I think I think for for anyone else trying to get better and for my future self who might be watching this after another four months of not playing, uh, seems like we got a Protoss versus Zerg here because of the the advice here. Yeah, like I said before. Um, for you to start playing, you might want to practice your macro first, or just your very basic mechanics. So go on your ladder, play some unranked games, and build nothing but lings. It's a nice troll build. I've done it for BM to GM. It works. Alright, so you know what you do against Zerk. This is like the third time I practiced this. The first time it ended up in flames because the guy pressed 1A with his roaches. Uh, the second time I was fine. You have not enough minerals. You but yeah, have so not just just minerals. go troll with zerglings. It, it's fun and it helps practice your mechanics, which is what gets you in, into games. Unless you're planning to do like trash, at which point I have no advice for you. Not because like I'm a I'm a firm believer of no trash in StarCraft, but because well I'll I don't know how to trash. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know how to trash. And also, if you trash, then I can probably... Uh, I shouldn't say that. I think I have a... Like, early, early trash I'm okay with. And then, uh, like, mid-game, one base trash I'm, I'm not that great at. And, and late game is like... I feel like late game is where I'm at. Like, my best. That's where I shine. But yeah, now, now let's talk a little bit about the Stargate builds. Double Stargate Void Rays is considered more all-in than the one Stargate Full Lethal. What I've noticed before is that the Zerg player, or at least competent Zerg players, will generally try to 1A into your base with their roaches when you do that. And at that point, uh, it just becomes really annoying. Like, you want to try and uh, get rid of this pesky drone. All right, you can have that gas. I don't care. But yeah, so so they'll one a their drones or they'll one a their roaches in there, and it'll be really annoying. You have not enough and you, you need to be able to hold that off. What I say is true. This cannon placement might not be the best. All right, you know what? We're gonna put the problem back there. This one's leadling. Okay, so I let the gas geyser finish for some reason. I honestly don't know. Um, I'm putting my probe there to spot incoming links so I can finish that wall if I need to. You have not enough minerals. 
I just drop a crown on this. I feel like that Bob is like not in the right place. All right, so he's got four lings. I think. Um, we're gonna play a little safe. I, I think that wall is link tight. Not sure. Just not sure. All right, I think this Bob actually has more DPS than the Stalker, so you go ahead and do that. Also, the Stalker is more fat, so it's gonna do a better job at like protecting the thing. Now I'm pretty sure he doesn't see the forge. Now if he sees that I don't have a plus one on the way, then he might actually like expect void race. I don't know, do I like Nidasis? He doesn't have speed yet. Alright, I need to fix that shit up. He probably spored up at this point. Get more void race. He didn't really kill a lot of things, so we still got three void rays. That's gonna keep us safe, I would say. Um, just trying to get one of these up. Now the fact that he went for one base roach, and quite a lot of them too, means I'm gonna be like not that far behind, I'd say. Let's see if we can actually do something with this. Our warp gate is done. Now the only thing that's really a threat to us is like, Mutas. And I don't see that being a problem right now. We're still gonna transition to Kalaus. Cause not doing that is kinda silly. Annihilation commencing. Well he, he's at least prepared for these. Oh, I got the gas geyser.
Okay, so it looks like he's getting hydras, which is the correct response at this point, I'll say. Um, nothing wrong with that. Just gotta be working on my army right now. Now these void rays, one thing about these void rays is that they're gonna be good against, uh, against corruptors when he gets them out. Alright, we're, we're getting way too many of these. I'm not saying I don't like Kalaus, but... Like, I I'm trying new builds, like, that's the whole point of this. We also need Council. It's another Forge. Council. Kalaus. Okay, where are my skill race? This vessel shall invade. You must construct additional pylons. What the hell? Why can't you build a nexus? Does he have a burrow zergling there? Can't place location invalid. Let's go and get rid of that. I can't believe he got Burrow. Alright, we don't need that many Colossus. You, you know what? We're gonna wait for that Colossus and we're gonna get a War Prism. What is it does he like? My composition, my playstyle. His brood lords. You know what? I feel like more Colossus, honestly.
he's got mutas. He's got mutas. That's not good. So much problems with this guy. I mean, he does play really well, but I feel like my Protoss should be better than this. I mean, it is my Protoss after all. So he's gonna get a he's gonna get one of those things soon, those brute lords. I mean, he's shown me that he has mutas. I think I'll wait until this round of upgrades. Alright, so now, now I think I, I'm gonna get my own mothership. While I wait for his brood lords. I also need to get my charge. Charge and blink. I think blink first. This, if this actually turns into an Archon Toilet, this will be the first time I ever use, use the Archon Toilet. I'm not gonna get Storm, because I feel like it doesn't help. So at this point, I think getting this will be good. The cannons pay for themselves. Alright, I'm maxed out. I gotta do something. Wow, that's a lot of garblisks. I've actually never used a mama ship before. So that's a first for me. I am the voice of the eclipse. Mineral field depleted. Lidl's at. I don't exactly care about that. Um, you got rid of the fleet bacon. Alright, 
my stalker tech is back. So he he's got rid of that base now. Oh, there goes all his tech, and I still have Templar tech, which is good. You know, I should probably get rid of that Greater Spire before, like, shit gets real. So he's content just like letting me sit back and do my thing. He's probably trying to rebuild somewhere. Oh shit. My blink micro is not the best, but I feel like I can handle this. Kalos can actually just come back. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep my mama ship over here and try and take my expansions again. Like right now, right now his tech's been reset. I'm basically just gonna look for bases at this point and probably power up my base again. There's still some upgrades that I don't have. Um Enforcing I love his use of burrows, like so obnoxious. Yeah, respectable at the same time. Uh where's my mama ship? Mama ship. Bob. Oh shit, that's a lot of spines. Brute lords? Really? Actually, no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Void race. Justice be done. So he's still he's still gonna rely on those uh, on those brood lords, which is fine. Eh, what do we want? We want. Where's my core? This is like the third core I made in this game. I guess we have to make armor. Alright, I'm not exactly mining well, so that does a problem. Upgrade complete. Are exhausted. He thinks he's safe, but he really isn't. Unless he's got this base scored up. Like a champ. Oh wow, that's a lot of brute lords. Oh, he's got the lair. We stand as one. All right, we're gonna go for six brute lords, and then we're gonna go for six. Uh, or sorry, we're gonna go for six skill rays, and then we're gonna go for carriers. Cause carriers are cool. Guide us. Command me. Kassar, datum. Prismatic core online. All right, we got skill rays now. Skill rays are good. Uh, you know what? Let's get some stalkers in this shit. This guy is so obnoxious with these things. Like in a certain way, it's cool.
Alright, so let's see what we got in terms of units. We got these stalkers aren't exactly that useful, so let's, let's send the skill razor. I don't know what he'll have against these skill rays. Hand corruptors, maybe. Spores. Turning into a great game. You know, you know what's really annoying? Carriers. I know this isn't the highest quality of games, but whatever. There's carriers, there's void rays, there's like stargate units, there's like freaking everything. So just, just be happy that there's stuff. And uh, my air is not upgraded. Where's, where's my core? There's something I can work on. Uh, I wonder where the rest of my carriers are. Still an Ayer. Still an Ayor. Alright, so we're on two mining bases, that's good. So we, we, we gotta rework these somehow. The, the air units should be on one control group. Still can't find my core. Uh, there it is. This one probe is still mining his gas. Alright, I got the carriers. I don't know if he'll actually leave. Got positioned a mama ship to defend. Okay, I think we can use more carriers. That is where the Protoss late game lies, carriers. Okay, so this is gonna be the two from now on. I am the void. We are the blades of iron. And Tar Orin Shisau. Honor guides me. That's gonna be the two. I don't really care about the two at this point. Um, we got four carriers and a couple of skill rays, so I, I feel like I feel like we're in good position. Because we got that recall if we really need it. And I got six carriers, which is, is, is like, this This is a pretty good Protoss army, I would say. He's got Garbalisks. Corruptor is not a bad choice. I 
stalk through the stars. For honor. Now the question is, can these actually catch up? These are just mass garblisks at this point. I'm okay with that. She keeps mama ship back here. Keep the stalker back. Um, let's see. Where are all my philatels? So at this point, the mutas are probably gonna head here if there's any left. But there really isn't. Got these carriers here. That's good. All right, idle workers here. Just gather our units here again. Uh, I feel like air units are the primary type of units we're gonna get. I don't have any more skill rates, do I? Okay, those, those muters are all dead. So what can we use more? Carriers. And upgrades. This is actually turning into quite the enjoyable game. Alright, we still got skill rays somehow. And we also got this armor. Oh, there goes all the air. Okay, Corruptors is not the choice. Or rather, uh... He's still gonna have Broodlords, I guess. Uh, that's a lot of Corruptors, so I don't exactly want to mess with that. Still have Recall. What's he got over here? Is his Wall of Spines over here? Yeah, he's got a Wall of Spines. And spores. On the waves of justice, I stalk all right, I got one carrier. This one carrier is going to take out, take down all of the static defense. <laughs> this is so silly. I don't have that. Okay, I think I honestly think at this point just like Bob Stalker might be the best composition for us. You know, this is actually turning into like an everything composition against an everything composition, but I think the Corruptor count has been whittled down enough that I can use Kalaus again. You know, that actually is one of the best PvZs I've ever played. There, there, there was Motherships, and uh, there was 
there was Void Rays, and there was just about everything, except for Storm and DTs, which I think I sh I regret the DT part, but the Storm part, not really, since there was so many Roaches. Like, Roaches, Corruptors, and uh, Brutalors just don't suffer that much damage from Storms. Anyways, that was a really good game.